Next, a recurrence formula for Pn of x. The first formula is 2n plus 1 x Pn of x equal to n plus 1 Pn, Pn plus 1 of x plus n Pn minus 1 of x. So we can start from this, uh, start from uh, generating function. There is 1 minus 2xz plus z square raised to minus 1 by 2 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n pn x. So differentiating with z. Okay. Then minus 1 by 2 1 minus 2xz plus z square raised to minus 3 by 2 into minus 2x plus 2z. Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n z raised to n minus 1 pn of x. And multiplying both sides by 1 minus 2xz plus z square. So, we are multiplying with this, uh, this side with this one, then here it is 1 and here minus 3 by 2, then we got minus 1 by 2, okay. Then, <coughs> x minus z. Now, uh, which is equal to 1 minus 2xz plus z square, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. <laughs> which can be written as x minus z summation over n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n pn of x equal to 1 minus 2xz plus z square summation n is equal to 0 to infinity why it is because this is our generating function and this generating function can be written as this okay that's why instead of this i put summation over n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to n pn of x okay now comparing the coefficients of z raised to n, z raised then x pn of x minus pn of pn minus of pn minus 1 of x equal to y. Here the coefficient of z raised to here 1 z raised to 1, here z raised to n. So the coefficient of z raised to uh, n plus 1 is here it is pn x. Okay. Therefore, coefficient of z raised to n is pn minus 1 of x. That's why I put pn minus 1 of x. Okay. Then here x pn of x. I substitute, uh, multiply this. Then here also z raised to n minus 1. The coefficient of z raised to n minus 1 is pn of x. Coefficient of z raised to n is n plus 1 pn of x. Okay. Uh, pn of x here it is uh, z raised to 1 here z raised to n minus 1 so we are both will combine then z raised to n then n minus 1 uh, pn minus 1 of uh, x z raised z square here z raised to n minus 1 so z raised to n minus 1 so z raised to n minus 1 uh, the uh, z raised to then we will get uh, n minus 1 pn minus 1 of x. Okay. Sorry, here uh, z square and z raised to minus n minus uh, z raised to n minus. So these two will combine and we will get z raised to n plus 1. So coefficient of z raised to n plus 1 is pn of x. Then coefficient of z raised to n is pn minus 1 of x. Okay. That's why I put like this. Okay. Then uh, from this just uh, rearranging that is 2n plus 1 x pn of plus 1 pn of pn plus 1 of x plus n pn minus 1 of x. <coughs> now in the of equation then we will get this equation. Okay. And we just put n minus 1 for n in the above equation then we'll get this one now the second recurrence formula is this one x p n prime minus p n prime <coughs> p n p n p n minus 1 prime is equal to n into p n so we can start from the generating function this equal to this one and differentiating one with respect to z then minus 1 by 2 1 minus 2 x z plus x square raised to minus 3 by 2 this term and this term or we can return as x minus z into 1 minus 2xz plus square raised to uh, minus 3 by 2 is equal to summation of n into z raised to n minus 1 pn of x. And 
differentiating one with respect to x. First, we differentiating this equation generating function with respect to z. Now, we differentiating this generating function again with respect to x. So, we will get uh, this term and uh, arranging and we will get this term. Okay. Now, equation number 2 and 3. So, dividing equation number 2 by 3, then we will get x minus z by z equal to summation over n z raised to n minus 1 pn of x by summation in z raised to n pn prime of x. And we are just uh, cross multiplying here. Then we get this one. Then comparing the coefficients of z raised to n, z raised to n, then x pn prime minus pn minus 1 prime is equal to n pn x. Okay. So this is our second recurrence formula. And the third recurrence formula is this one pn prime x minus pn minus 1 prime x equal to 2n plus 1 pn of x. So from the first formula, this is our first recurrence formula. Then we have to differentiate this formula with respect to x. Then we get this one. And we have to use the second recurrence formula. Second recurrence formula is what? Okay. Mm. So instead of this, we can use this second recurrence formula, NPN, XPN, then uh, the next step is this one, <coughs> so we will get the third recurrence formula. Differentiating, okay, and uh, just uh, arranging all these things and arranging here and using the second recurrence formula again. We are using the second recurrence formula again 2n plus 1 uh, x n plus 1 n p square p n plus 1 p n square is equal to n plus 1 x p n prime n plus square p n third recurrence formula here. So here we can substitute n minus 1 for n, then we get equation number 4b. Now fifth recurrence formula is this one. So we start from equation number 4b. Okay, from 4b, um, n pn minus 1 is equal to pn prime minus x pn prime pn minus 1 prime. Okay, from second recurrence formula, this is our second recurrence formula. Uh, sub, uh, subtract a minus b and multiply with the x. Just uh, subtracting and multiplying with the x. Then we get this recurrence This one from the first recurrence formula. This is our first recurrence formula. We just arranging this. 2n plus 1 can be written as n plus 1 plus n. Okay. Then n plus 1 into here, pn plus 1 here, I take this x here, into minus pn minus 1, just rearranging. And here we use the fifth recurrence formula. Here we use the fifth recurrence formula. Then we get, what is fifth recurrence formula? This is our fifth recurrence formula. Then we will get the sixth recurrence formula.